Hello everybody and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. I'm Tom Davis, America's Canine Educator. Today we have an out-of-state client coming in. I wanted to go live because this client and this dog is working on pretty bad reactivity on the leash. So this is the final lesson and I'm going to walk her through the steps from one to however long it takes to help her with this reactivity on the leash. And I brought my two buddies with me. Tweedledee and Tweedledum to help me with this reactivity. I'm gonna go put the dogs back and then we're gonna bring her in and we're gonna start the process. Go grab it, Tyler, please. All right, so she's gonna come in. If you get her dog in, we're gonna work on heel, we're gonna work on reactivity, and I'm gonna go get my, my demo dogs out, and we're gonna work on that reactivity. I like using the fake dogs because it makes it safer, and it, I, feel, I find that it helps the dog owners become a lot more calmer. Good girl. So make sure you reward her for not reacting, okay? Just gotta make sure that you're letting her know that she, she did what you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And then the only thing is, is when you here, you switch with you. Come on. <laughs> Maybe. So when you're walking, so see how like I remember specifically over here, yeah. you, you did that pull. So don't pull or you have to make sure that you give her that pop. So go ahead and just walk that dog around. Some reactivity, so we're going to work on that correction. Yeah. Hopefully, with this one. There we go. Go ahead and just heal her around. I just want to put her back. It's okay. Good. Good. Just remember to pop. I don't know what you did. I'm just reminding you. So yeah, I don't know if you did it wrong or right. I just remind you. So we're doing good because yesterday it was reactivity every time. Yeah. Attack, attack, attack. So today we're doing a lot better. Um, so now we're really only going to react if it's immediate threat. But if you watch what she did, she growled, and then almost ran away. Mm -hmm. Where yesterday it was like, I'll bite you. <laughs> so that's good. So go ahead, go into a stay, and just back up a little bit. Just a stay. Good, remember to work on your, so everything's coming together. The heel's a place to sit, the stay. Good. Stay. Good. Stay. Good. 
So you saw that reactivity starting. Did you see her mouth? So she'll stop breathing and her mouth will close because that means she's Yep. So that's good. That was good reading on your part. Guess what everyone else is going to do out there? This stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's what practice is for. So I am pushing the limits, but it's, yeah, it's, re <laughs> it's reality. So why don't you give her a break, put her back up. Break. Oh boy. Oh boy. Put her back up to a place. And then you're actually going to go walk backwards towards the cooler. Sit. Stay. So what we're doing is we're reading body language, mm -hmm. reading uh, her body language through her breathing, her mouth, her eyes, mm -hmm. her attention span, wherever she's looking, and you're going to catch her if she, if she goes, you're going to just do, do what you did. You did a verbal pressure, ah, mm -hmm. or whatever, or say. You give her body pressure, like that. Go ahead, put her back up. And then you also give her leash pressure. So that was good. So all those combinations of things is going to... She's going to be more, see, did you catch her? So what she was doing is, here, let's see if we can back up just a little bit, see if we can catch her again. So wait, because I'm going to come around this way, and I want to help you read that language a little bit better. So that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's right there, good. So just put her back up. But you saw the difference, yeah. right? So she's telling you what she's okay with and what she's not comfortable with, basically through her body language. Um, so we're gonna do that again. I just want you to watch your body. Stay, just watch that for me. Sure, it's going good. Okay, so you're going to a stay. Back up a little bit. Okay. Sure, she's good. She's breathing. Good. Good. It's okay. Just watch her. I want you to watch her. So. Um, or just temperament testing. He's a fake dog, so. It's okay. So, good. Put her back into a sit. Sit. Good. Because it's important to understand that because this is overdoing it, she growled to warn the dog. She didn't react. She didn't lunge. She didn't try to bite. She growled. So, in, in that instance for you, if this was some idiot that was being an idiot, you just walk away. Okay? Um, so right now she's being very clear. She's growling. Okay, so we're gonna do it again. I'm just gonna intensify it a little bit more. Good. Good. Okay, give her a break. Good. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. Except I'm gonna mix it up and use both dogs and be a little bit more realistic. Her and pushing her off mm -hmm. is because she's getting what she wants. Yeah. She jumps, she touches her. She jumps, she touches her. 
This is your least attractive. So this is confidence building for her. So she's not reacting, but she's still insecure. She's still not okay with it, mm -hmm. but she's not reacting. So it's good. There you go. Good. Good girl. And now if I pass, you can reward her and say, good stay, good leave it. Give her positive reinforcement if she's doing good. And she is. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Flexi party comes to town. <laughs> Woo -hoo, yeah! I don't care about my dog. Make her whatever they want. Yee-hoo! <laughs> now she's like, oh shit. Good. All right. One more. Temperament test. Good. Flexi party. Good. I'm up here about my dog. Good. That was a little too close. So what you need to do in this situation is, if you're going to get somebody that does this, which they will, they're going to be sitting there sending an email, you just do two things. If they're not paying attention to you and respecting you and your dog, leave. Get up, walk away. Um, if they are, if they're like, hey, is your dog friendly? You say, no, she's training. Mm -hmm. um, if, she, if they're paying attention, and coherent and walking towards you, you just be like, hey, can you just give her some space? She's in training. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do to help with that. But that was great because we worked on and we saw reactivity. Mm -hmm. And you did really good. The only the only thing I want to walk you through, one more thing, is the correction process with the prong collar. Mm -hmm. um, the do's and don'ts really quick. And then uh, we'll give her another break. That was good though. So you can uh, you can stay there if you want, but I'm just going to show you this one more time. So we get this out, and again, when you're using that prong collar, what you want to do is when they're here, so when she reacted the first time, over here, right? She got really, she, most dog owners will go, oh shit, let's go. Assess the situation. So if the dog reacts, just making sure that you're happy like that. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the leash doesn't come off. Yeah. We get the idea. Mm -hmm. So um, just that's the only time I really saw you do it. And uh, was just right there. Like the first incident, you just pull up and drag, you just gotta pop, pop, pop. Because it's just you almost want to stay at the same spot. Leave it, pop, mm -hmm. leave it, pop. But I, I'd say 95% of people do that. They go, and the dog goes, and they just, so it's just, you can't make a bad decision worse than that. Yeah, and if so, I pull, she's still looking anyway. Right, yeah, so I, what I honestly do is I just sit there, leave it, leave it. And the dog stops, good. I don't have to move forward, I don't have to progress, um, none of that stuff. Does that make sense? Do you have any questions? So it's good, so we saw reactivity, controlled it, and then you pushed her boundaries of what she's comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, she went after that dog every single time. So we pushed her over her boundaries, now she's just, I'm not comfortable with your crazy ass dog in a flexi coming running up to me. Mm -hmm. That's okay, I respect that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, cool. So why don't you give her a 30 second break outside, and then come back in. That was good. Good girl. Good girl. Very good, okay. So, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Uh, like I said, that was a that was a quick little uh, live session there. Um, so the dog had severe reactivity coming in. We're doing much much better as you can see. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, leave a comment below. Let me know. Don't forget subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be posting these live stuff more often. If you guys like these lives, let me know. I usually do high production, high videos. We're in the editing process of all the stuff we've been doing. So if you guys like these live videos. Like this video, leave a comment below, let me know, that's how you guys can support me and let me know you want me to do more of these live videos because I love doing them because there's a lot of room for error and it also really shows you guys in depth from start to finish exactly how to stop some of the stuff that we're going live on. Thank you guys so very much for joining me today. I will talk to you next time. Peace.